This is, what's this dog's name? His name is Freedom. This is Freedom, and Freedom is a dog that was just rescued from an animal testing facility. And what's our story on Freedom? Where was Freedom? Freedom was in a company called Aniclin in northern New Jersey, and he's four years old, and he spent his entire life in a stainless steel cage. Really? So about a week ago, we negotiated with uh, through the courts with the receiver, which which is the person that was responsible for liquidating the assets. And he, of course, was an asset to these people. That's what he was. He's just a like a piece of property. And we negotiated a release for Freedom and 120, well, 119 other beagles and 55 monkeys, macaque monkeys. Really? Yeah. So, so how many animals was that total? To it was a total of 180 animals. Wow. Yeah. What were they doing in, in the animal testing facility? Do you know what kind of research they were doing? They were doing what's called PK testing. It's not quite as invasive as toxicology. Toxicology is what like Huntington Life Sciences does. Uh huh. Um, it's not quite as invasive as that, but um, it's still, I mean, he, he has never, you know, never, never seen sunlight. He's always been inside a lab. He's never smelled all these smells. and. For beagles, that's so important, what they smell. Um, wow. This is the first week that he's actually been out yeah. in the grass. Yeah. Here, in, uh, we're in Washington, D.C. at the Animal Rights Conference. I have never met an animal that has been in an animal testing facility, though I'm completely, completely against them. This is incredible to actually meet one. This dog has been out for one week, never seen sunlight. Amazing. And you... We're part of the team that was rescuing him and the yeah. other animals? Yeah, my name is Camille Hankins and I'm with Win Animal Rights. And we, we received an anonymous tip about this lab and about the fact that when they closed this lab, they literally locked the animals inside and, and walked away and, and left no one to care for them. And people from the laboratory, uh, the caretaker, the lab caretakers actually broke into the building to feed these animals just to get them, you know, keep them safe. So it's an amazing story. Oh, oh wow. He's of... never experienced this either. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not going to put the camera every, on that. That's hilarious though. Every, <laughs> every, every, because the reason I bonded with him is he had another male dog that was jumping his bones and I said, no, no, no. Oh, wow. I'm going to get you out of here. And it's what's amazing okay. here it's is natural. that this dog is, um, I don't know if this dog right here is half pit bull or not, but this dog was rescued. This was a bait dog. Yeah. Uh, used in pit bull uh, fighting rings. It was actually uh, thrown into the rings with the dogs and just eaten, uh, just bitten everywhere. And he's been rescued for six years. This guy who I just met found him. He has scars all over his body. He was actually left in a backyard on a chain and he was about 16 pounds, just le left there dead, abandoned. And this kid saw him and rescued him. And now he's here, bonding with the other dog that was rescued from the animal testing facility, this beagle. It's incredible. It's incredible to watch this. And it's incredible to have so many people caring so much. And, you know, would do anything to, to help these animals. And it's just so awesome. What a story. What a story.